this beautiful shell. What a great souvenir from your trip to the beach. Uh-uh. Not so fast, my friend. Inside these tiny, marvelous figures hides the most venomous creature on the planet. Each of these snails has the potential to kill 700 humans. And even more frightening, just by swimming close to its spiral shell, you can fall under its spell. Here's how to survive a cone snail attack. Cone snails are small mollusks that can measure from 2 to 29 centimeters and thrive in tropical waters near coral reefs. The most dangerous species hunt fish using a long and fast-moving harpoon that injects a powerful venom capable of immediately paralyzing the victim. Then the snail starts eating it alive. Unfortunately, this venom is also extremely deadly to humans. What do cone snails and sugar have in common? What piece of clothing could save your life? And why is an anti-venom impossible to develop? To come across this tiny killer, you must be an outdoor enthusiast who takes amazing nature photographs. What? You're not? Fortunately for you, Skillshare gives you access to the masterclass Nature Photography. Recharge and enjoy the outdoors by professional photographer Tabitha Park, along with thousands of other classes to explore your creativity, learn new skills, and polish your passion. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can satisfy your curiosity for creative disciplines, not just photography. You can take courses on illustration, graphic design, animation, and of course, self-development. We use it to polish our visual storytelling with courses like YouTube Success, Script, Shoot and Edit by famous YouTuber Marquise Brownlee. We've learned how to get the most out of our gear and we've taken some tips from him to grow our online community. Thanks, buddy. But that's our journey. What's the skill you've been waiting to improve? Painting? Singing? Meditation? There's everything on Skillshare. The first 1,000 people who click on our link will get a whole month of Skillshare for free. Don't waste a second and start leveling up your career or passion. Okay, now back to this killer snail. Are you wearing any shoes? Step one, don't look for souvenirs. During their lifetime, cone snails build a beautiful shell that will almost lure you into grabbing them. You should avoid doing this like the plague. In 2019, a 19-year-old TikTok user known as Jono from Queensland, Australia, thought he had found what would be the most amazing piece in his shell collection. In reality, he almost met his demise. He picked it up thinking it was empty, but after recording this video, the snail stung him. As he later stated, he was nearly killed at the beach. Don't pick up these spiral-shaped shells without heavy-duty gloves, no matter how pretty they are. Step 2. Cover your feet. You don't have to be curious to get killed by these tiny predators. Just being inattentive is enough. Some of these creatures burrow in the sand, waiting for fish to approach. But imagine you're taking a walk in shallow water and inadvertently step on one of them, as a 25-year-old Australian man did in 2015. Quickly, his respiratory system began to shut down. Considering the incoming tide making landing nearby difficult, it was hard to think he would be rescued in time. But before we continue his story, try wearing sandals when walking through shallow tropical waters. Step 3. As usual, don't panic. As with other deadly venomous stings, panicking can trigger increased blood flow and will only cause the venom to spread through your body and kill you even faster. Since survivors of this killer consider the pain unbearable, it might be difficult, but you'll need to remain calm. Put pressure on the area you've been stung by wrapping something around it to slow the spread of the venom. But staying calm doesn't mean you shouldn't rush to the hospital. Step 4. Don't waste a second. 
Cone snail venom is made up of about 100,000 bioactive compounds. It's so complex that it's been impossible to create an antivenom for it. And in case you were wondering, it acts so fast that there have been 36 fatalities recorded. Remember the 25-year-old Australian? Well, he suffered respiratory issues and was found convulsing in pain. Since the rising water levels made it impossible for an emergency helicopter to pick him up directly at the scene, an inflatable boat was needed to bring him to the chopper before being taken to the hospital. Step 5. Keep an eye on the sugar. This fascinating and deadly snail has developed very sophisticated hunting techniques. One involves releasing insulin-based toxins into the water when prey is nearby. This lowers the target's blood sugar, making it slower and easier to attack. And guess what? A team from the U.S. National Institutes of Health discovered that these toxins are capable of also affecting humans. So if you start feeling a little dizzy, it's time to get out of the water, my friend. Unfortunately, you're not safe from venomous creatures even on dry land. Like the world's most venomous spider who lives inside the bunch of bananas you just bought in the supermarket. Could you avoid its nasty bite? Keep watching here at How to Survive. <laughs>